guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I just wanted to talk about um, a little problem I came across on site, and um, it was quite quite fun to work out a solution to it. So um, this is all to do with uh, gradients and uh, working out a new one. So um, I've I've discussed gradients in a video before, but this one just goes into a bit more detail, and um, it shows you how things can change quite quickly on a construction site. And as an engineer, you got to try to deal with them and come up with a solution. So this is the bottom end of the site. Foul and surface both run out and leave the site here. The foul goes into an existing culvert down here, or an existing uh, existing combined sewer down here, and um, the surface goes to a full control manhole here, into an attenuation tank, and then gets released at a steady rate down here, I and mean, then into an existing culvert. But the reason this attenuation tank is here is one, we've got to deal with the water where it lands on site to avoid flooding down downstream and this this 600 culvert only has a certain capacity but as you can see so this was the original design so um the foul's in foul's been installed it's just this surface this blue line here that hasn't this is this manual has been built this is s46 this has been constructed facing down this way nothing has been constructed down here yet so we were meant to break into this culvert and pipe up and connect in However, there's problems with this culvert in this uh, this garden here, so we have to move it along here. So this is how the updated design looks now. So we've shifted the manhole from here over to here. At the moment, we have constructed this manhole coming up here, and this one has been constructed. However, the problem is, seeing as um, the line of drainage faces off more to the right in this one, it's now off offline is this manhole. So we'd have to smash this model out and realign it again. But the other problem is how close it is to the foul. And these inverts are very similar. And it's very similar up here. So these two pipes run pretty much at the same level up very close to each other. And seeing as we're in solid rock, once we excavate down, it would just smash these pipes coming up here. So we need to come up with a solution to save these pipes and to avoid breaking this model out. So I suggested we move this manhole back onto its original line put an extra manhole in up here, so come out of this one, which is built, we've achieved this invert, 93.213. We come up here to where this original line of drainage was, build a manhole, and connect in that way. So I'll just show you, I drew it out on CAD. So yeah, so it was meant to be like this, running along here. It's a bit too close, so it'll smash the foul. So, I should, so the suggestion is to put an extra manhole in here. So the question today is, how do we work out the invert level of this new manhole. We know the coordinates, you know, we can just ID the coordinates. And that's the coordinates for that new manhole there. So it's pinned out. How do you work out the level of this manhole? That's the question. So um, if you want to give it a go, working it out, you can do. The distances are 8.744 from this new manhole to this one existing is. 77.875 and if you want a reference for the um, old line it was 79.927 okay i'll just go through the solution now to it how to actually work out the invert of this one all the levels are here as well if you wanted 93.213 and 101.263 okay give it a go if you want but i'll go through the solution now Okay, so it's all about gradients, and um, I've discussed these a bit before. But the gradient is quite simple to work out. Gradient in percentage form is just a difference in levels, so difference in inverts, divided by the length, and times by 100 to get it into percentage form. Percentage form is what you use for pipe laser, okay? So from S46 to S47, so let's just have a look on a plan. So S46. To S47, this was the original line, this one in magenta here. The gradient for this was so S46 was 101.263 minus the invert for S47, which was 93.213, divided by the length, which was 79.927, times by 100. That gives us a gradient of a little over 10%, so it's 10.072%, or you can convert this into 1 in 9. 929 so that's for every um for every nine meters and 929 millimeters you go there's a meter of fall 
Okay, now, if we went with this grade, 10.072, if we use that for our, if we says, all right, we'll just stick at the same grade. We know the gradient for this. Let's just do the same grade here, same grade there. We'd come in too steep. We, 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 this, this wouldn't tie in, the pipe would be higher. And the pipe would be higher because the distance has increased. And the way we work out gradients is it, these are all tied together. The length is tied to the difference in the levels. So if the length increases, or if we use the same grade and the length increases, we're just going to keep getting higher and higher. If you just imagine it on a graph, a gradient um, by the length, it'd, it'd come in too high to that manual and it wouldn't be any good to us. So to work out, um, so the next step, so the next step to work out this invert, S46A, is to work out the gradient from here to here, including these, uh, the extra bit of length. So gradient from here to here, just assuming it's all one smooth gradient, okay? And to do that, to do that, I just called it S46 to 46A to 47. So the levels are exactly the same. So S46 minus um, minus S47. So it's exactly the same as before. However, the distances have increased slightly, as you can see, and times this by 100, and that brings us to 9.294%, or 1 in 10 meters and 760 mils. So for every meter of fall, we have to travel 10 meters and 760 millimeters. So... As you can see, it's, it's flattened out slightly, hasn't it? You know, so for every so for every nine point nine two nine meters you're traveling, it falls one meter. Now it's got slightly slightly flatter. It's gone to ten point seven sixty. Okay, so to actually work out the level of S forty six, we've got us grade. We're almost there. So how would you actually work out the level of this? Okay. So to work out level of this. So to calculate the invert S46, now that we have the gradient, we just need to work out um, the fall for the distance. Okay, so as I was saying, one meter fall in 10 meters and 760 mil. So what is, um, so as distance from, from this manual to this manual was 8.744. Eight point seven four four is there. That's the length, and the other one was seventy seven point eight seven six. So, from the top manual S forty seven, there is seven point two three seven meters of fall. Okay, and from the bottom manual S forty six to forty six A, the distance is eight point seven four four, and there's eight hundred and thirteen millimeters of fall. To work this out, it's just a ratio. So, um. 77.875 divided by 10.760 and do the same on this side divided by the answer you got there we'll get you that and i've also worked it out for 600 millimeters in length and that gives you 56 millimeters of fall this is just for the rocker the rocker pipe so once you're setting it if you're building it traditional you need to put 56 millimeters of fall in your first 600 millimeters of pipe so to actually work out the level of s46a it's s47 invert plus 813 millimeters so s47 i'll just show you on the plan s47 that's 93.213 plus 813 which we worked out here is 94.026 so that's the invert s46a and to check it you can just do reverse so manual at the top s46 minus 7.237 which we worked out here will give you 94, it was just 94.026, so it works out. So then if you want to put this on your plan, just click in here. And the answer was 94.026. 94.026. And that's how you work out um, the invert of a new manual. So yeah, that's, so that'll give you a nice smooth gradient It'll avoid smashing these pipes and um, and it'll work out nicely like that. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you found this useful.
please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks.